Welcome, welcome. Ciao, this is David della Scatu Patagonia and today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY ground sheet for your tent. First of all, why do we need a ground sheet? Well, basically we need a ground sheet for protection. To protect the water from the moisture coming through and uh, to protect the bottom of our, um, our tent from uh, wearing out uh, camping all the time on on tough surfaces and also like from sharp objects like uh, sharp stones and things like that it will ha if you always use a ground sheet uh, when you pitch your tent it will help a lot to to ensure a good longevity of your tent now there are different materials you can use. Uh, obviously, you can use the you can buy the ground sheet made from your tent from your tent manufacturer, but they tend to be very expensive. That's why most people uh, use uh, some DIY solutions. And uh, basically, there are a, a few different materials that people use. You can go to any hardware store and get some very uh, very thin and light. Uh, plastic sheets that you can cut out or you can use uh, a material that I really like that is called Tyvek it's from DuPont and uh, it's a it's a it's a membrane it's a non-woven uh, material that you it's used in uh, in building uh, it's usually they wrap uh, wooden houses uh, with uh, with this membrane but we use it for uh, for for our camping uh, for for our camping needs for the ground sheet of our tent. There are several type of Tyvek. There isn't one type of Tyvek. There are several type of Tyvek. Some are very thin and uh, some are uh, are more uh, are more thick and heavy. Some are more uh, waterproof than other. In general. Um, Tyvek is a material that is uh, is water repellent. But not not all of them are uh, are water uh, are waterproof. I have a few here. This is my favorite. Is my old ground sheet. It's in Tyvek Pro. It's quite heavy. Uh, it's most people wouldn't use this because it's too heavy. But it's very durable and it's uh, it it re it's it's really an insurance on your on your tent because it's a uh, even very very sharp object cannot uh, cannot um, bore a hole through this it's uh, it's very good it has also like this uh, on on this side it has this uh, i don't know how to explain it but it's like a very very tiny tiny wool kind of fabric and uh, and it's ensure basically um, thermic insulation Next, uh, we have the ground sheet that I just made and I will show you in the video how to make it. And I couldn't find uh, any Tyvek Pro. So I used, uh, I was able to purchase, I mean, I mean, I could find Tyvek Pro, but I had to buy a, a full, a full, um, a full box of it. And it's, uh, it's expensive. It's about a hundred euros. I don't know how many meters long is the, the thing. But you can make uh, at least 20 ground sheet, I guess, and uh, or more. I can't remember exactly the measures. So I I was able to find uh, some uh, some other type of of Tyvek, and this is called Tyvek uh, House Wrap. It's much thinner. It's much lighter, and. Uh, I don't know how much protection is gonna is gonna offer. I'm gonna test it, uh, but I have a I have a good idea of walking. I I did some tests, so I walk on this uh, uh, Tyvek house wrap with um, with my shoes and some tiny uh, stones underneath, and uh, it does tend to to break. So yeah. At some point, I will need to find some Tyvek Pro. Uh, but now I'm in Europe, so um, I should be able to find some at some point. Then there is a, this one is a bit softer and it's more like a fabric. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's it's 
it has more the feel of a fabric and I think uh, this is the same Tyvek that they used to to use to make for um, they make suits for uh, um, for the for the health industry yeah this is called uh, Tyvek soft uh, it's it's quite soft and uh, it's very light it could be an alternative uh, I will try to make one uh, one uh, ground sheet out of this and uh, and I will test uh, uh, one one against each other and uh, I will see which one performs better and I will let you know in a future video probably so now let's see how to make your uh, DIY ground sheet. First thing first, you have to get the dimension right of your uh, of your ground sheet because if it's too uh, too big, it will uh, it will basically drain water underneath your tent, and you want to avoid that. Uh, you don't want uh, your tent to be a giant uh, swimming pool, basically. So what do I mean is, I'm gonna show you. This is the old ground sheet, and you can see there is a gap it's a little smaller and it has to be a little bit smaller on all the sides i can show you the the old one you can see and uh, this is uh, this is very important you have to get it right otherwise when you'll be in a rainy situation you'll be in trouble okay next uh, we lay our uh, our sheet of tyvek i bought a lot we put the we put the tent on top and we go with a with a marker we go and mark down all the points where uh, where uh, we want to cut our uh, our tyvek remember that if your tent has a vestibule you need to you need to map down one two three four points more so that you can cut out the vestibule in that case uh, you might want to to pitch uh, uh, you might want to fit your fly sheet just to have an idea of uh, the measurement of your vestibule once you're done you should have something like this and you can go ahead and fold the vestibule very neatly so it will take a, a permanent folding and uh, and you can do that fold fold it in uh, in half and half okay we continue folding we fold it and create this permanent fold And now we basically finished our process. And we got our sheet. This is the result. Our ground sheet. Our tent footprint in a, in a Tyvek house wrap. It's very, very light. It's very compact. It's not going to last as long as the Tyvek Pro, but I'm going to give it a go. The footprint is now done. The, there is an option that some people use. Uh, they put uh, uh, grommets at the four corners of the footprint. But because our footprint is shorter than the tent, I would not recommend uh, to put uh, any grommets. Some people put uh, some shot, uh, shock cord or some uh, elastics. We are gonna use uh, uh, these little strings, and uh, we are gonna fit them with the with this Tyvek tape. Uh, it's especially done to to heal and uh, to adhere properly to to Tyvek. This is how I fit uh, the first corner, and you do the same basically with the with the other four corners. I use this uh, Tyvek tape but you can use duct tape or uh, whatever tape you have, like a very grippy tape 
it could be gorilla tape or duct tape they are all good and this is the first and you do the same with the other four corners and having something like this is very helpful when you're uh, when you're pitching your tent in raining uh, stormy condition and you have a tent like the MSR Ababa that you can pitch starting from the fly sheet from the from basically the roof and uh, and you can pitch the inner uh, inside so in this case you could uh, you could fit uh, the the tent poles first uh, and and basically stake out the the ground sheet using the tent poles fitting the fly sheet and then you fit uh, the inner tent last